hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to create a currency converter in c -Shop. more specifically it's a real-time currency converter as you can see in this example we have uh, the user entering in uh, the input currency details and uh, he will select the output currency type and once we click on convert it gives in the output currency value in this example the user has inputted 26 usd that is us dollars and output he has chosen indian rupee and the final value would be 2071 so let's look at the implementation details first what's the data involved typically we have input currency details and output currency details and also the rate of conversion so this column c here rate of conversion is the important one that gives us the final value say you have one dollar in hand and the rate of conversion for uh, canadian dollars is 1.3 it means that one dollar is equivalent to 1.3 canadian dollars at the end you have a list of uh, input currencies and output currencies and uh, if you have uh, a conversion table maintained it will it'll be like like for example if you have uh, 200 currencies 200 cross 200 uh, becomes the final matrix each element in the matrix represents conversion rate for particular set of currencies how do we maintain the data and solve this in currency converter so the static approach is a fairly simple approach so we have this ui in hand which allows the user to enter in the details and we have a conversion logic which is uh, which takes in the details from the UI and makes the conversion, puts the details back to the UI. And uh, with the static approach, we have a static data maintained as files or DB values somewhere. And uh, this conversion logic make access those values and makes the conversion possible. Only thing that's wrong with this approach is the use of static data. This conversion uh, between uh, multiple uh, foreign currencies is volatile meaning it's subject to change it may have one value today one year from now it has some other values and it goes on change so sooner or later the values will be outdated for example in 2005 the usd to inr conversion ratio is just 47 or something and now it's gone to 80. to make this app stay updated in real time we kind of uh, just outsource this whole thing to an external API provider. I don't need to worry about converting, maintaining this table, updating its values for 200 cross 200 currencies. The external API provider will just do that. And I just need to get the data from the UI and pass it into the API in a way that API provider understands and i need to get back the data from them and just process it back and fill in the ui in a way user understands we need to make this kind of communication possible and internet is needed since it's in the cloud and that's what we are going to implement in this video so let's get to the coding part so typically we have uh, multiple api providers and i'm choosing apilayer.com here they have uh, multiple uh, APIs for uh, different things and out of which for currency we have uh, three API sets out of which I am using this one. After you log into your account, you are going to have to choose subscribe to this particular API set so that you can uh, use the individual methods. And uh, if you see this subscription, you can see that uh, we have certain limitations like number of requests uh, you can use in free plan. I'm choosing to stay with the free plan. So we have this uh, set of APIs in hand already. So if you are going to design this UI and app, what would you need? When the UI launches up, you need the list of uh, currencies already populated in this combo box so that user can select uh, this and provide in the value and click on convert then you need to do the conversion so we are going to do this two action in this video so if you see here in the documentation they already provided an example on how to use this we have an api called convert and it takes in uh, details like 
amount which is required and the input currency from and output currency to you have a support for multiple languages in which i'm going to choose c sharp we need the list of currencies for that we could use symbols api and we need to convert for that we can use convert api we start with a form uh, project here we have uh, input uh, currency details and output currency details typically a text box and combo box first when we load this form we need to fill in this combo box with the list of currencies so let's do that let me add a currency converter class that takes care of making the aping calls and giving back the response let me create a new class We were sort of having the namespace and the class name as same. So let's add the using statement. So we created an object for the currency converter. This takes care of all the API calls to the third party and getting them back and sending us just the data we need so let's create the currency converter methods okay let me correct this i missed an or The first thing we are going to need is fill in this combo box with the list of available currencies. So let's add a method called get symbol. And it's going to return a dictionary. With type string string. So what this output is going to have is the symbols and like USD or INR along with the elaborate details like United States dollar or uh, Indian national rupee or something like that. So let's have a dictionary within this class too. So what we are going to do is if symbol says null we are going to initialize it otherwise we are going to return the symbol this is where we are going to make the api call so we need not deal uh, with uh, the responsibility of making the call in this method rather we can just say I would deal with the response and push this responsibility to some other method. So we have uh, generated the method which makes the API call. So for this, we need to add the dependencies involved. Let's add some NuGet packages. The first one we are going to need is REST shop. So I'm going to install this. Then we are going to need Newtons of JSON. Let's install this. So it's complete. So Restrop makes the request and uh, Newtons of JSON just kind of uh, handles the JSON data that the API gives 
within the uh, c -sharp program so that we can uh, deal with it, process it and do whatever we want. So now that the dependencies are handled, let's write the method. As you can see, we are going to use the symbols API. So let's copy this code. And paste it here. Let's add the proper namespace. The thing I found out is we don't need this timeout set. And I found out uh, they were sort of uh, specifying a relative path in this request itself. So we are going to change that. Provide the relative path here. So for for whatever reason, uh, the code they had in the website isn't working, and I have to change that. Provide the uh, yeah, yeah whole website here, and provide the relative path here. And I think this is get. So we add a client, a REST client first to this website and then make a request providing this relative layer and method get. And we just provide uh, the API key that you got after you registered in that website. Once you got the API key, you just need to make the call like client.execute at the request, you get the response out of this. In this response, what you get is structure of JSON. So once you get this response, we need to deal with the data. You can just send the content back to the callee, caller so that they can deal with it. In this case, I am finding we could parameterize this line string relative URI so this one I can just copy it and paste it here and I can add the relative URI just like that so it should work as before so we get the response content in place which is nothing but the JSON you see here we wanted to extract the details out of this in this example you can see that uh, they are having a key symbols which is actually something that resembles a dictionary so we are going to extract it use it set it in the combo box so that it's ready since it's just a string we want to convert it into a form that we can uh, deal with for that i'm using uh, json convert deserialize object method and this what would we would also do is use generics and specify dictionary dot string object here uh, the string is the key and object is the value as in the example this key can take any complex value it's not a fixed thing it can be a boolean or it can be a dictionary so we are specifying the key as string and uh, other thing as object and we pass in the response content here so what this call would do is we have a, a json data in the form of string and we are going to convert it into some objects that Newtons of JSON recognizes. So we would typically get a J object out of this. 
and which we would be converting it into this original symbols like dictionary string string we are going to convert it but for now we are going to get j object type that the library has since i am using this particular type i am going to save it in some variable so i can use it so i am going to name this as response data so let's place a breakpoint here and in form dot load let's do the call and if we load this the control should stop at that breakpoint so you could see that so whatever we saw on that website like success and symbols we are getting it here and you can go to this immediate window response data one dot get type dot to string so you could actually understand what's going on as you can see uh, what we have in symbols is actually a dictionary but it's represented as j object so we have a boolean thing here and a symbol here so let's add the uh, remaining code that we need so if we need to typecast uh, after we retrieve uh, the success from that dictionary success is true we are going to return the dictionary that's there in the symbols as you see in this example so we are going to return this whole data out of this method let's do that i'm going to save it in some temporary symbols variable and response if you see this where it's taking object and we don't need that because if we have object we won't be able to access the helper methods so we want to type cast it as j object that we saw in this uh, immediate window let's add the namespace so now you can access every method that's available in this j object class so that we can make this conversion of j object to the actual uh, dictionary that we need fairly simple so next step is the just the conversion so we are going to initialize the symbols by converting the temp signals which is j object to object yeah so if you do this and make use of this two object and provide in the type you are looking for it would uh, cast this j object back to the original dictionary format we are looking for so now the program can understand uh, easily what this dictionary is and it can send it back to the ui so as, as far as this call is concerned we have made the api call and we were sending back the dictionary to the ui for uh, further usage let's save it in here with some variable so that i can use it so i'm going to use this symbol data and trying to fill in the combo boxes with the list of available currencies so let's first clear the combo boxes and then i am going to use this dictionary as a data source for those combo boxes i'm i just had to set the data source for those combo box so that we can use the dictionary and fill in the data and just pass null to the data member 
once we have done that we have to specify how to display it what value we need to take for each of the items so we need to fill in a display member to the value typically this dictionary has a collection of key value pair and you are setting the value of the dictionaries to be displayed in the combo box we need to fill in the value member so that we are setting it to key so what this actually does is we have a set of key value pairs in this simple data like usd as key and U united states dollar as value so we are going to display united states dollar as an item in the combo combo box and internally we would be using usd value to pass around to the api behind so that uh, we could actually use the convert api the third party provides so as in the example you could see we this would be taken up as an internal value and this would be taken as for display purpose so let me complete the two currency combo box and we can check this in action so let's do this so we have this uh, dictionary ready which has in each entry a key and a value we are going to display the value to be seen by the user and internally we will deal using this key we have so let's keep a breakpoint here so we are getting that and let's allow it to fill so now you could see all those details are filled in like in a human readable form instead of just symbols we are having what is what i have indian rupee in hand and i also have united states yeah so if i next step is we already filled in the available currencies and when the user inputs the amount and click on convert we need to convert it into the foreign value so that's the part we are going to cover so let's do that so let me add an event handler as you can see we have associated a dictionary key value pair entry with each of the items in this combo box so we are going to utilize that and get back the data so for that uh, we need to use the selected item this particular selected item will have uh, a dictionary associated with it i mean a dictionary and a key value pair associated with it so that we need to make the casting first so when we just attached uh, dictionary as data source this each item will have a key value pair attached with it and with which we can make use of the key and the value and just uh, do the further processing in this case the key will have the required details like usd or inr here we have uh, set the key to be the value under each of the combo box items so if you are selecting uh, united states dollar behind uh, there is a key attached to it that is usd that we are going to need here to do the further processing so we need to use the shortest form to make use of this api and we have to do the same thing for two currency as well so we have the shortcuts like usd or inr or cd in our hand and we need to access the 
amount entered which is uh, we can use double for that so we got everything we need we got from currency to currency and the currency amount so now let's add a method to our currency converter class this is the final value we are going to get out of this api let's add convert what this is going to take is the from currency symbol and two currency symbol and the currency amount and it's going to return a double value double type value we are generating the method finally when we get the value we are going to set to current amount dot text is equal to final value dot to string so the ui part is complete so we're gonna need to make use of the same format as before copy this and paste it here and we are going to need to modify this relative path here if you see this is the path it's going to expect so i have copied the path so here we are making use of this convert api and we are need we need to pass in the respective variables let me add an interpolation and uh, let me just uh, replace this with the variable names i am using okay i think i made a mistake here it should be double so okay instead of using currency amount i used currency converter that led to the bug so let's substitute this here so we have substituted the details in the relative uri and it should uh, actually make the response request as expected the response should take this particular format the thing uh, we are interested in this response is whether it's successful and the final value which we are going to display in the ui so this is what we are going to send back to the ui so i have already validated whether it's successful or not now i am going to send it back the value just uh, return response data result so we have uh, taken the results result from this like before uh, now that that is ready if in the failure case just return minus 1 so that we know it has failed so let's start this application and see if it's working or not so let me choose uh, united uh, states dollar yeah let me choose indian rupee yeah so i know like uh, an iphone cast around uh, thousand nine nine so let's convert that it's eighty seven thousand five thirty five rupees let's check whether it's really true or not yeah so this is what we get and it matches 
the real time value so in this moment like 1100 us dollars will be equal to 87535 and we are getting exactly the same result as we see in the google so it's mainly because this ap provider updates the whole table or uh, detail we described for every minute like the conversion between source currency and the destination currency is changed and updated every minute so that we are getting this real-time value as we see in other websites like google or something so if we change this uh, to other uh, currencies it would do the conversion and we could see it gets updated so internally we are uh, making the api call and this api layer is doing all the heavy lifting for us we just uh, make sure we are communicating with the right values and making use of the response the api provides and sending the response back to the ui like that so you need to make sure you're maintaining the flow this is the flow we are talking about you need to make Make sure what you see in the UI is passed on to the API as suspected by the third party and what you get from the resp as a response you need to extract it, cast it to the right type and pass on to the UI so that it can be displayed as suspected. So in this video we have uh, seen how to create a real time uh, uh, currency converter that uh, matches what we see in uh, real time google search or something let's do a canadian dollar yeah so uh, this is what that 1.3 conversion that we talked about yeah it's working for all the cases and i guess we have nearly like 200 uh, currencies that are supported and all the all of those values will be available in real time so as a summary we have uh, used uh, rest shop and uh, J newtons of json to do the api calls and processing of the api calls respectively and created a final working real-time currency converter i will meet you with another video so if you find this video useful like this video share with your friends and subscribe to this channel for future videos thank you